Let's take a look at everything Netflix has renewed and canceled so far in 2023. What's going on, you lovely people? Lisa here, and it is time to give you an update on what's been renewed and what's been canceled by Netflix. We know that they tend to cancel a lot of things that make fans mad, and this is no different, but they got a lot of renewals too, and these have all been announced since January 2023, so some of the things you may be wondering about were probably announced last year. But let's go with the renewals first. So Ginny and Georgia was just renewed for two seasons, season three and four. They'll also be having a new showrunner, Sarah Glinsky, who previously worked on shows like Degrassi. And since Ginny and Georgia has quite a few Degrassi alum, maybe this will work really, really well. Virgin River will be premiering its fifth season this year, but has also been picked up for a sixth season. It's no surprise that Outer Banks has been renewed for a season four. The political thriller The Diplomat with Carrie Russell, The Night Agent with Gabriel Basso, and The Recruit with Noah Centineo all received season two pickups. Wednesday with Jenna Ortega was a huge hit, and that 90s show, the sequel series to that 70s show, are both getting second seasons. We also have a lot of reality shows being renewed. We have Too Hot to Handle, Perfect Match, The Mole, one of my personal favorites, Buying Beverly Hills, Outlast, and Somebody Feed Phil. We also have the sports doc series Breakpoint and Full Swing. Now, Selling the OC, which is the spinoff of Selling Sunset, was picked up for two more seasons, as was the Spanish-language hit show Wrong Side of the Tracks. Also getting a second season will be the Spanish series The Snow Girl and the Indian teen drama Class, which is an adaptation of the Spanish hit series Elite. Then we have some shows that were renewed, but it's bittersweet because it's also been announced that they are their final season. So it's kind of like they've been renewed and canceled all in one. That includes Cobra Kai Season 6, You Season 5, Mo Season 2, Big Mouth Season 8, and Sweet Tooth for a final third season. Now, if you're wondering about a few shows, just like some of these shows that got renewed for multiple seasons, a bunch were also renewed for multiple seasons, like last year, that includes like Bridgerton and Emily in Paris and stuff like that. Plus, we know Stranger Things will be coming to an end. We just are getting a delayed season because of the writer's strike, so who knows when that's gonna come out. But now moving on to all the cancellation announcements since January 2023. We have 1899, Inside Job, The Chair with Sandra O, oh, Sex Life, Free Ridge, which was the uh, On My Block spinoff, Lockwood & Co, which I know has a bunch of people upset. We have Dead End, Paranormal Park, Uncoupled with Neil Patrick Harris, but that show was actually saved by Showtime, so season two will be over there. We have the K-drama Juvenile Justice, the Turkish show Hot Skull, the animated show Ridley Jones, we have Young Wallander, Bling Empire, and Bling Empire New York, Smiley, the reboot of Rebeldy, and Man vs. B with Rowan Atkinson, as well as Mindhunter because David Fincher recently spoke out confirming that there's not going to be a season three, basically because the show is too expensive and stuff, and Netflix never made that official announcement, but he confirmed it, and it's kind of a sad day because that was a great show. Now, shows that are ending this year with final seasons include Firefly Lane, Manifest, Never Have I Ever, The Crown, Top Boy, and human resources. Yeah, so Netflix is always kind of changing up the shows in their lineup, and it's never without the fanfare because you know when they cancel something that people love, they hear about it. Um, so I gotta know, what do you think about this renewal and cancellation list so far in 2023? We're about halfway through the year, so obviously this list could be growing in both directions, renewed and canceled. But uh, which show are you most excited for another season of, and which one are you sad is getting canceled? Let me know all your thoughts down below in the comments and after that don't forget to hit subscribe and check out more of my videos right over here because I'm always here rambling about something. But I appreciate you sticking around and um, yeah, as always, my name is Lisa. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I'll see you next time.